Well, hey there, let's talk about influencer partnership strategies, specifically in the gaming industry today, because it's an industry that I'm not super familiar with. And I'm not a gamer, I'm old and I grew up before computers and well, there were some computers, but they were the size of stadiums, uh, big computer programs and big computers when I first started college. Uh, but the gaming industry has got millions of people that are participating it every single day, depending on the demographic, depending on the game, depending on the simulation. There are literally millions of people. And so to me, it's a good industry to take a look at how they're using different strategies to attract those people and to get people to use their products and services in you know playing the game and how we can learn from them, what we can learn from them. I like to look at different industries and say, okay, I'm not a part of this industry, which means they have a whole different way of looking at the world than I do. What could I learn from that that I could take and use to supersize and grow and build my businesses? Because I have businesses in several different industries. Gaming is not one of them. Uh, so cool things about the gaming industry. The first thing you want to do is look at some overview of the industry itself. So that's how I learned that there were millions of people playing every single day online these games and I thought it was really cool I remember uh, when my son was in school and living with me you know because I lived with my children uh he would play these online games and he'd be talking to on a headset kids from all over the world and I thought that was fantastic until I heard about this latest President Trump assassination thing and apparently the kid was being communicated with through some of these games and simulations I find that really frightening <laughs> I guess terrorists I my son also told me terrorists do communicating through different games and things they do it to find people that they can groom to their causes which is another frightening way I I think it's interesting. I like to look at the world and find good things to model and put in my business. A lot of people actually use the internet and the dark web to find evil things and to put more evil into the world. Let's not do that. So the gaming industry has got communities across platforms. It communicates across platforms. Uh, they have huge growth potential, right? Uh, as the world gets more crazy, I think people look for a peaceful distraction. I think that's why streaming television is so popular. That's why people watch the news. God help you. And <laughs> that's why people want to find games. And that's why virtual reality, I think, and, and augmented reality are taking off so much because people want escapes from what's really going on around them. How sad is that? Just my two cents worth. Uh, there's the, another cool thing I learned about the gaming industry is they have a wide variety of different types of influencers. They have influencers that are just casual players and casual streamers to people that are actually, uh, sports coaches and things. Uh, it's amazing the diversity amongst the gaming industry of influencers and experts. So it's, pretty easy to find the right influencer for you, which is the number one strategy, right? We can join and make partnerships. And this is true of any type of partnership. Uh, you have to find the right partner for you, both in, in life and in business, but you also have to find the right influencers to join forces with because you want to create another strategy is a long-term relationship with them. So that means you want to find core values matches. You want to make sure you pick the right ones. You want to do uh, and define clear objectives. Hey, why are we forming this partnership? Uh, you want to freaking document it. I don't know how to say that in a nice way, but if you don't write it down, it doesn't exist. If you don't document it, it doesn't exist in the world of outside eyes. So you better write it down, define your objectives, share your expectations, develop a compelling uh, proposal that somebody would want to partner with you. Uh, provide creative freedom to the influencers you join forces with. You pick and choose them for a reason. Don't stifle them by not letting them be who they really are. If that is who your audience is going to be attracted to or your desired clientele is going to be attracted to, make sure that there's some creative freedom in there. Otherwise, what's the point? You might as well just put out the content yourself. Uh, and again, foster long-term relationships. Uh, some of the ways to maximize campaign and the impacts of, of your campaign in the gaming industry or any industry, by the way, is to make sure you appear and, and test and tweak and figure out on different platforms. Uh, look for different platforms. A lot of influencers 
primarily show up on one platform. So if Instagram is how you reach your people, find the best influencer on Instagram for you. But that doesn't mean that you ignore Facebook and don't find a Facebook or a LinkedIn or whatever influencer and platform makes sense for your business. You have to be across platforms and test and tweak and find out where where are your people? Where are they really hanging out? Uh, my daughter gives me a hard time because I post stuff on Reddit. She's like, does anybody even go on Reddit anymore? I'm like, well, they go on mine. So that's why I use it. That's why I show up there because I reach specific audiences there that I don't reach anywhere else. Uh, create, and I, I say this almost every time we talk about any kind of content creation, create interactive and engaging content, especially in the gaming industry or any industry that people love to participate in. One of the coolest things about the gaming industry is users are generating the content for a lot of the platforms and a lot of the uh, groups and communities that exist. Nothing better than user-generated content because guess what? They're showing you, they're telling you exactly what they want. They're creating the content for you. And all you have to do is monitor that and make sure it's not inappropriate for your business or for your platform or for the message that you're getting out there. Uh, another maximizing strategy is, and again, this applies to anybody you do partnerships with, give them exclusive offers and giveaways to share with their audience. And don't give the same one on LinkedIn that you give on Facebook, that you give on TikTok, that you give on Instagram or whatever platforms you're using. Depends on the influencer, depends on what the audience on that platform would really be most interested in, but make it exclusive. Uh, a lot of times we see the exact same offer splashed across, and I do this with my content, splashed across every platform. Uh, track and analyze performance and results. Hello again, if you don't measure it, how do you know how you're doing? So have some metrics that you choose to use as you're doing your influencer partnerships and make sure that you share that information with, with them, right? If it's a partnership, it's a partnership. That means they need all the information just like you do. And then uh, leverage user-generated content. I just said that. That's one of the cool things about the gaming industry. There are a few industries out there that are primarily user-generated content. You know, Facebook is pretty much all user-generated content. The whole social media is pretty much user-generated content, et cetera, except for the algorithms that they've used to fiddle and play and show what they're going to show and not. And that changes all the time, which is why engaging specific content for the people that you're aiming to show up your content to or to bring into your business uh, is so critical. And that's one thing that's never going to change over time. AI isn't going to impact it. Uh, SEO, anything outside of your control, uh, and especially these platforms and the algorithms, we, we might be aware of those. We want to be aware of those, but we're not going to change them. I did an experiment, uh, you know, with Facebook pages, they're doing a lot of changes. And I provided comments and feedback every day for about a month. And then I was like, nobody reads these. They're all automated and maybe they don't even get to Facebook. But as far as I'm concerned, Facebook customer service, forget about it. <laughs> and that's okay with me now. It didn't used to be, it used to stress me out a little uh, when things would break and didn't work, but they're changing things all the time. And I learned that I could be upset about it and nothing would happen, or I could just embrace it and say, okay, what am I going to do now? What's next? How am I going to make this work for me? And I learned that showing up, being consistent, being resilient, figuring it out, and just creating your content uh, was the best thing that you could do or that I could do. All right. That's it. Love to know your experience with uh, working with influencers or doing influencer partnerships. Have you done any? Have you had success with it? I've done several, uh, primarily for other people's businesses, and we've had incredible success with it. Uh, if, you know, it's a way to reach people that we otherwise probably wouldn't reach, and it's a way to reach them very quickly. All right. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting strategy that you can consider to grow and build and supersize your business. Have an awesome day.